unconditional love is only possible when what we are loving is soul, spirit, essence. If what we are loving is only the form, then that love will never be unconditional because that form, the body, the mind, the complex, the whole being of the person in front of us, naturally, eventually, they're going to do something or say something that we don't like. They're going to do something or say something that hurts us, that makes us angry, that we don't approve of. And if what we've loved is their good behavior, if what we've loved is their sweet words, then when their behavior no longer counts as good to us and when their words feel bitter instead of sweet, my love falls apart. So that's why when we really love, yes, it's wonderful to love the form also, by all means. Love each other's beautiful bodies. But recognize that really what we need to love is essence, soul, spirit. Otherwise, my love for you will just go up and down as your behaviors, as your treatment of me, as your words. You do what I say, I love you. Treat me nicely, I love you. Don't do what I say, I hate you. Right? This isn't love. This is contract basis business. For love, it has to be love of soul, of spirit, of essence, of content rather than form. We are so focused only on the form. Real love is love of content. And so when you ask about people who have been hurt by other people, loving someone unconditionally doesn't mean everything they do is fine. It doesn't mean I love or even like or even approve of everything they've done. People may have done things that are absolutely wrong, inappropriate, hurtful, violence, sinful. But my love of their soul, from my soul, should still be able to exist doesn't mean I'm going to choose to live with them. Doesn't mean I'm going to choose to ever see them. But what it means is that I don't move through my life carrying anger and grudges and pain of what they've done. It means that I'm able to sink into my essence, my soul, my spirit, and love them on the place of their soul, spirit, essence, not the place of their behavior.